Welcome back to the newsroom. I am Joy Uche Jim. These are the stories we're tracking at the moment. The Nigerian army on Friday destroys about 14 illegal oil bunkering vessels arrested with stolen crude oil in the oil bearing Asa community of Abia State. The army operatives said the vessels ablaze, including eight large cotonou boats at the Simiri waterside in Nukwa, West Local Government area of the state. The general officer commanding A2 Division, Major General Hassan Dada, who led the operation, told newsmen that six suspects were arrested in connection with the illegal oil bunkering. And in Lagos State, the government says patients who contracted cholera in Etio local Government area had an un un unregistered tiger nut drink. Etiosa is the epicenter of the latest cholera outbreak in Lagos. Speaking in an interview with newsmen on Saturday, Special Advisor to the Lagos State Governor on Health, Kemi Ogunyemi, said when the government noticed the spike in suspected cholera cases in Etiosa local government area, it visited the neighborhood for a first-hand assessment. And the Kano State Government has advised residents against drinking rainwater to prevent the spread of cholera as the rain season has set in. The advice was contained in a statement on Saturday by the head of the Public Relations Unit, Ministry of Health, Ibrahim Abdullahi, and issued to newsmen. Abdullahi said the advice was necessary because usually the rainy season comes up with cholera complications, which some states in the country have already fallen victim to. And the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission says its operatives have arrested a fake official of the State House in Abuja and other suspects for employment scam. Disclosing this in a statement, EFCC spokesman Delio Yewale said the suspects were nabbed for alleged co criminal conspiracy, false representation, and employment scam. He identified the culprits as Augustine Umugboy, Josephine Idako, amongst others. And on business, Nigeria's monthly inflation rate has slowed for the third consecutive month, indicating the effectiveness of the Central Bank of Nigeria's monetary policy tightening measures. The CBN highlighted this in a statement shared with journalists on Saturday. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, the headline month-on-month -month inflation rates decreased to 2.14% in May, down from 2.29% in April. Food inflation also fell for the third consecutive month to 2.28% in May. And on the foreign scene, a major power outage hit Montenegro, Bosnia, Albania, and most of Croatia's coast city on Friday, disrupting businesses, shutting down traffic lights, and leaving people sweltering without air conditioning in the middle of a heat wave. Montenegro's energy minister said a shutdown was caused by a sudden increase in power consumption brought on by high temperatures and by the heat itself overloading systems. Power distribution is linked across the Balkans for transfer and trading. And finally on sports, the head coach of Flying Antelopes Rangers International Football Club of Ingo State, Fidelis Ile Chuku, has assured supporters of the club their readiness and commitment to hit 70 points by defeating Gombe United Football Club at New Jersey City Stadium. The club, which will be crowned champions of the 2023-2024 MPFL season, already in just with the full complement of its playing staff as it engages Gombe United in the last fixture of the season, with its eyes set on ending the season on a high and fly back to the coast city with the giant trophy. And that's not the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I am Joy Uchejim. See you next time.